You know, there are some really amazing and historic buildings here in the Twin Cities, but one really stands out. The Landmark Center is now home to several offices and hosts social events, but the building, built back in 1902, has quite the past. Think about this, full of bad guys, big, important decision stories found in the history books, and it's why our psychic and medium Jody LaVon couldn't wait to get inside. TCL reporter Kelly Hansen followed along on this paranormal experience. Ooh. It's a beautiful piece of history that sits in the heart of downtown St. Paul, but Landmark Center, known for its large stone, beautiful arches and pillars, was once home to the federal courts. So this meant that St. Paul was on the map. The fact that they had this beautiful fortress-like structure, very imposing, very beautiful. Judy Brooks, director of community programs, has worked for Landmark Center for nearly 30 years. She told us of the building's storied history. This building, one of its uh, most noted history stories, is that this is where many of the famous gangsters were tried um, or sentenced, and many bootleggers sentenced in this building. A lot of people love this building and spent time here, and so there's just a lot of energy in general, and people can leave their energy behind. This floor was not the floor you wanted to be so on, and you will understand as negative. we walk around. Okay. We began our tour on the third floor, where dangerous criminals once sat in front of a judge. As we head down this corridor, there's a room on your left here that is absolutely where you didn't want to be if you committed a crime. It is the detention room of the U.S. Marshal. When Creepy Carpus was held in here, he was handcuffed to the radiator. They were terrified he was going to try to escape. He was loath to be imprisoned. He was crazy. Jody, he was. He, he was crazy. I can actually hear. He like, was. Whenever I say bubble up, I mean, get your white light going in here because they know I'm here. So. I can feel, I can hear a hysterical laughter. I can, I can feel like he thinks this is a joke and that it's not gonna end, like a, it's gonna end better for him than it did. Like, I feel this man's craze. Alvin Creepy Carpus was a notorious killer, kidnapper, and bank robber. He was tried inside courtroom 317 during the summer of 1936. And I feel like he was sweating. Like, obviously he's next to the radiator, but he's, he's, he's crazy. When Creepy was held here, outside was the largest, most horrible heat wave St. Paul had experienced and has experienced to date. That radiator is now on display in the basement of Landmark Center with handcuffs still holding on. We moved onto the third floor women's bathroom, a place Judy says is pretty active. A sole person will be in the bathroom, the women's room in a stall locked and they've reported that someone has come in and walked in front of this stall and crinkled up paper like, you know, a, a hand towel and maybe a faint smell of perfume, but there are no feet walking past anywhere and the door closes and there's nobody on the floor. And, and the smell of the perfume, I can feel it. Like there's a woman that's very dainty. Remember the Barbie dolls with the little shoes and the little legs? I can actually see this and I can feel like this little outfit that kind of had flow to it. Evelyn Billy Frechette was tried in the courtroom directly across the hall. John Dillinger's girlfriend, now I don't know if she was actually in here, but Evelyn Frechette, was, her name, nickname was Billy. Evelyn was beautiful. That's, I'm just got like chills. Evelyn, Billy was beautiful. Judy Brooks says it's this kind of history that makes her love working inside this historic building even though she believes something or someone is always nearby. I personally am very grateful when I'm here late at night and I am the only one on my fourth floor and I go to the elevator and it is open with my floor pressed. And I always, just like throwing a pinch of salt over my shoulder, I always say thank you. I have to tell you something, the spirits here like her. <laughs> and here's, well, here's one of the reasons. You really honor the state of this building, what it represented, and the part that these people played. played. That is why they open the elevator door for you. That is why your coffee stays warm. That's what your coffee stays warmer than it sometimes would. That's why they don't, they don't try to trick you. A building Judy honors every single day, one with a rich, deep history where the bad guys really didn't get away. Ooh.
boy. If you're going to have a lot of spirits around, they might as well like you. <laughs> they better charm you. Hey, Jody is holding an event next week, and she would love to see you there. Instant Instincts is November 5th at 7 o'clock at the Minnetonka Community Education Center. We've got the details and ticket info at TwinCitiesLive.com. Ladies. Oh, boy. If you own <laughs> one of these. You don't even know what.